This is humbling. <laughs> it was just finished and all beautiful. And... <laughs> Don't, do not rub it in more. I'm not rubbing it in. I've already been it's... called by your brother and made fun of. I'm sure the big Swede will never let me live this down. Along with, well, maybe two or three hundred thousand other people. Mom, what do you think of the new updates in the house? She lives in the cities, so she doesn't get here very often. What are your thoughts? I love the house. I was here when they were taking down the popcorn ceiling. It looks much better. And it's not near as dusty. Yes, we had a company come in and clean all the ducts out as well. Um, and that made a huge difference for our house overall. I mean, night and day. Right, Larry? <laughs> yep, we're enjoying a nice snowstorm. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back to my very, very, very small garage that I am trying to get my supplies ready for today's project. Snowstorm outside, nice Sunday afternoon project. We're going to try to add, not replace, we're going to try to add a bathroom vent that's never been in the house. So, it should be fun. We got to go up in the attic try to determine where the bathroom is, find the wire that goes down the wall, fish a new wire up, cut a hole in the ceiling. I'm gonna be wearing this because I have no idea what the insulation is in this old house, probably something toxic. So let's go see what we gotta do. So here's the idea. There is no, no other light besides this one that I put up the other day, which I really like that one. But it's a very small bathroom, no vent, no fan in here for the humidity and yeah so we are going to try to cut a hole which I have to determine where the studs are at which I might drill through no that sounds risky might stud finder and then measure and that's later first problem I need a wire to come out of here because there's only one switch and so the bathroom fan is going to also have a light in it and a fan, so it's going to be one of the bathrooms that I hate that don't have a switch, so you got to listen to the fan if you're in here. I don't know, I guess I don't do makeup, but not normally. So anyways, I don't like when those are running when you're in here doing whatever, but I have no other choice because I ain't going to run switches and wires and all that. I want to be able to drill through, fish a wire down, out behind this, so this has got to come down and then rob power out of there, up to the fan and light. It'll all be on one circuit. I'm not an electrician, but that's what I'm gonna do. But we have to go up into that hole, which should be fun. I don't like attics at all. Oh, this is gonna be more fun than I even anticipated. Mm. Oh my. Oh my. This is, this is not going to be fun. What is that contraption? There's stuff up here I didn't even know. Huh. All right, with a little bit of a, a educated guess here and a horrible spot to work, I found where my wall is to the bathroom. So I'll show you how I determine this as I am totally covered in insulation and you gotta crawl in here by staying on the rafters. There's three different types of insulation up here. We have the blow-in style. Then we got that bead looking stuff. And then there's actually probably the original pink stuff that's shoved up between the rafters. So, right here is my wire going down to my light. So I have to shove 
another wire down this hole and then go down, try to get it out of the wall somehow, if there's any luck at all with that. And the nails here, really nice. It looks bigger on camera than it actually is, but I barely fit in there. This is what I find somewhat concerning. So I think that this is the bathroom vent from the other bathroom that when the roofers did a new roof, they didn't replace it with the right thing and just, ah, that's good enough. We'll just lay that right there, okay. So, I don't really know if that's good at all. That's probably really bad. This, I might be back up here later to do this right because I was planning on just teeing into that line you know, under the assumption that that went outside. It turns out it just goes into the attic. And then I've never seen one of these numbers before. Have no idea how to run it, if it's automatic or not, but whatever, I guess. And as you can see, they covered it up halfway with their tar paper. Nice. Remodel surprises. This is, this is worse than I even expected. I knew this was going to be bad, but this is, wow. I have, I think I have poked the wire down here. So we're going to take this apart. enlarging my hole so I can see into the wall. I had to get a little bit more aggressive with the hole here because I couldn't get my grabbing, grabbing tool in there, but I think the wire is somewhere here-ish. Come out of there. <laughs> Perfect. That'll work. First daunting task almost over. That was easier than I expected. So I just followed the wire that I thought was this one, but this one actually goes down. But there is another wire in there I can see that maybe it's for this outlet or it doesn't much matter what it's for. I'm not using it, but it got me to where I needed to get. Next task, determine the spot I want to cut a hole and then really make a mess. Now it's decision time. So this little mark here, that's a stud or a rafter, and then there's another one about like right here. So what, what do I want? Do I want the light and the steam over the shower? If I go here, am I gonna get shadowing in the shower off of this bar here? This area really don't need more light, and the, rest, the whole room actually, this little guy does pretty good with. Hmm. All right, I determined the best placement being somewhere there, that's the stud. So it's actually gonna be kind of right above this, which I figure will give light that way, plus light this way. I don't, I don't know. I'm just doing what's best for, or what I think is best. So I drill the hole, I get to go back up there. I'm gonna try and clean the insulation off of this area. So when I cut the hole, it ain't all on top of me. Hopefully, that's my plan. Okay, I just got down. I did the best I could at clearing it, but since this is the outside of the house, it really gets tight there. But I got, you know, 90% of it, but it's still gonna be a disastrous mess, but at least I tried. Hello? Okay, yeah. I need help. That's why you told me to get in here? <laughs> yeah. Is it a joke? No, it's not a joke. You're gonna hold this as close as you can, get covered in sheetrock dust. I'm gonna use the oscillating loud tool to cut a hole and you're going to try to catch the dust. Put your hood up because it's going to be raining down on you. Can my mom do this instead? <laughs> and this bathroom is so small, the uh, vacuum fills up most of the area. Okay, first I'm going to be finding where the rafter is at. I'm going to be cutting to that line, to that line, and then I got to get my square out and draw the rest of the box. Got it? 
sure. <laughs> Looking for volunteers to go up there. My mom? Yeah. I told her last night she can't stay for free. I need some work out of her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I didn't say that. But I did It'd say It'd be hilarious that watching her see try to get up there. Yeah. Is there something on my face? fingers. Okay, that is installed. Now I have to go in the attic, get my wire, the other end of that wire, strung in with this. Should be fun in that area. And then connect my pipe, connect my pipe to my other pipe. And then I don't know what I'm going to do. It's definitely not going to be today's project. Maybe a day less snowy and windy. But I don't know if I'm going to have to go and put in a different vent outside. As of right now, it's going to be vented just like it was into the attic. Comment below on how bad that is. I'm sure that can't be good. I've seen where the tube was laying. It was like the insulation was wet, so I can't imagine that that's good on anything. But that will be a later project because I don't have the parts to do that. And I want to get this done. Yeah, let's get up there. Try not to lose any tools. So I'm trying to forward think before I wedge my body down in there on what I'm all gonna need. So I'm gonna need this to connect to the pipe. I'm gonna need a clamp for that end. My impact gun, I need this. And then I got the little screw for this inside my mask. I think it, it, yep, it's still there. Okay, in we go, I guess. So I got my wire cut extra long, so it should reach. For those of you that are claustrophobic, this would be your worst nightmare. I promise you that. My gosh. Okay, my box should be right there which it is. I know you can't see it, but it's there, trust me. All right, somewhat finished product. I gotta do some touching up with the insulation, but my wire nicely installed there, and then my pipe connected, so the really tight, miserable working space. I will admit, I did lose something in the insulation, and I spent over five minutes digging through this mess, and I did find it, but while I was doing that, I also found this underneath me. Didn't even know it. Glad I didn't forget that. Okay, I'm gonna make some dust and get out of here. I forgot to bring up those little staples that hold wires to uh, rafters or everything. Anything you want to. So I gotta come back and staple this to this rough board so that it's all professional and beautiful, you know? It's like being in a snow drift, a very itchy, itchy, disgusting snow drift. I wonder what kind of asbestos is in this. That is actually a concern of mine. Maybe if I just keep laying here. That was a stupid thought. I just don't even wanna try to move out of here. This was a stupid idea. I should have just lived with the humidity. 
wasn't that bad. But then I wouldn't have found out that my pipe was up, just exhausting into the attic. So I suppose that was maybe worth it. Let's get out of here before my flashlights die. Let's not forget that. What else did I bring down here? Here's what I got going. Bathroom fan I just installed right here, coming to this T. Existing bathroom fan in different bathroom comes up here to this T. Pipe coming out for a later project of mine to somehow get something adapt. I think it's supposed to go to this hole, technically, because it's got a flapper. But I think it's something either got installed incorrectly or I'm missing parts. I'm gonna go with installed incorrectly. So right now this is just an attic bent. I use some of my wiring because that's all I got up here to uh, hold it there and then I hooked it up there. So for the time being, that's what it's gonna be. It is what it is. Also was thinking, I just bought back the same stuff that was up here, but while I was looking at it, I seen that there was insulated stuff. I have a feeling that would definitely have been the better option. But we're here now. All right, I got that all leveled off real nice back in there. So I was always told, or from what I can remember or know, is when you're up here compacting the insulation like I'm doing by just my body weight being on it, the best thing that you can do when you leave is just fluff it all up again. So on my exit, strategy i'm just gonna fluff the insulation a little bit where i've been laying and walking hopefully that gets my r value back a little bit better than compacted insulation surprisingly though i am amazed at how good the insulation does look it's been replaced three different times so or two different times since the original so i feel pretty good about it actually this is humbling My very, very last step. And missed the board and... <coughs> and then a lot of yelling from down on this level, asking if I was okay. So, yeah, I'm just fine, it's the ego. And now, gotta call the mutter again. The only not bad thing is he has come back and fixed some other stuff when we get the kitchen remodel start going, but now more to fix. That, it really, it's more embarrassing than anything is what it is. But, I did get my uh, wire done in there now. I need to get the guts put in there and put this back together and then this project should be done. And then I could have been done for the day, but now I got to uh, repair a ceiling. So, push it back up, screw it, and wait for the mutter to come. That's embarrassing. So, to top the, the number of issues uh, off, I just found out that this kit has apparently had parts stole out of it, or they never shipped with them all. So, my nice little brackets that are supposed to hold the face plate on this, non-existent, along with the hardware. So, this I took off of the fan because it's a retrofit, not a, what would you call, rough-in install in like a new house. So I'm going to try to, try to, fabricate these. I've obviously have bent them and I've got one mounted there. And hopefully this lines up and I can fabricate this to work and use some hardware just that I have laying around. But whoever returned it or didn't put them in to the box, thank you. I do appreciate it. It's really helping with the morale. <laughs> I got lots of little hardware, wondering gonna be a bit. I gotta figure out somehow of doing this without the actual stuff that I need. And you might ask why I don't just run to Menards and uh, get them is because Menards is over an hour away from here and it's a snowstorm and I don't want to do that because it'd be a special trip and yeah 120 miles of gas so I'm gonna try and get around it because this ain't something that you ever go into again unless it's you know, needing to be replaced. So, yeah, hopefully I can get this in one shot. Well, I must have done something right with my wiring because it's running. 
put that back together. My fancy janky little brackets here for the next part of the install. We're gonna try and get our fingers up in there. We're gonna probably unplug this so we don't get our fingers up in the fan. But we're gonna try to weasel our fingers up in there to get a nut on there because it's supposed to have nice threaded holes, but yeah. What are you, what are you gonna do when you're shorted parts? Okay, how many things are we gonna drop? Okay, this goes. There's number one. I don't think this matters. We're gonna go with that. Are we square? Not that anything else is square in this house from what I've found. Whoa. I think we're good. I need a wrench. Alright, let there be fan. Coming together. Jeepers. Crying out loud. How about that? Not bad. Now if only the, the sheetrock wasn't busted, I'd have been done. Well, I'm just finishing up cleaning up. That's complete, done, ready to go, besides, well, do I dare go back in the attic and fix the outlet pipe after how that ended? I don't know. But, also, uh, fix that disastrous thing. Well, as fixed as I can until the mutter comes, I just screwed it back up. And then he's gonna have to make the decision on what he wants to do there. He's gonna not, he's not even gonna believe it. <laughs> It was just finished and all beautiful. And <laughs> Don't, do not rub it in more. I'm not rubbing it in. I've already been like called by your brother and made fun of. I'm sure the big Swede will never let me live this down. Along with, well, maybe two or three hundred thousand other people. Don't get ahead of yourself. No one actually really cares. <laughs> <laughs> well, it feels pretty humbling. Okay, regardless of the fan trouble, I did manage to make some brackets, so that that's really nice now. We just got a big mess to clean up on the ground and everywhere. But it's time to make supper, and uh, I've had it with the day, so... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's had a tough day. It's been one thing... You know, it's not that it's one thing that really just gets you cranked up. It's just one little thing after another little thing and then you fall through the roof <laughs> and then Literally, that just I was right there. I'm like, sends it over the top. Um, are you okay? No answer. She thought I died. And I didn't like, think well, you died but I'm basement. like oh he must have hit his head on a rafter or something <laughs> and fell. No I just slipped and then I knew right away and I just never said a word did I? And that's what made her think that I had My mom fallen. and I are just standing there, and it's like, oh, God, how are we going to get him out of the attic? <laughs> if he hit his head or something, I'm like... Well, I'm looking forward to a shower, because I'm itchy from insulation. And I'm also hungry, and I made burgers. Believe it or not, I mm -hmm. did make burgers that I have to fry now. Well, grill. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to sign off. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this struggle. This is the worst I've struggled in this house remodel project was today, so I'm glad you could stop in. It's so sad we literally only filmed this on the house remodel when you guys could have had... A lot. Oh my. Well, we're not done. Tons done. of videos. Four levels of a remodel that we did not film. Yep. We're done. Why? I don't know, but we, we didn't. Anyways, we have the kitchen to do, which will be later May, probably. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you laughed. And we'll see you in the next one. Yep.